I'm Dr. Deepti Goswami, consultant uh, obstetrician and gynecologist. Uh, today, I'm going to talk on a very important topic that is polycystic ovarian syndrome or polycystic ovarian disease. And as you all know, it is the most common uh, endocrine and metabolic disorder in reproductive age group, which affects 5 to 10 percent of reproductive uh, age. And it affects from adolescence up till menopausal age group. So we get uh, so many patients, uh, younger girls coming with uh, problems of acne, extra growth on the facial, that is a hirsutism, extra then uh, weight gain like obesity and uh, menstrual disorders. In uh, the reproductive age group, we find the similar findings with uh, menstrual disorders and uh, uh, infertility and uh, periods of like amenorrhea. They are, they are coming with the absent menses and when they get menses, then it is a continuous bleeding. And then in the perimenopausal and the menopausal age group, we have different uh, gynecological problems. So uh, it has been seen that uh, the polycystic ovarian syndrome is uh, many times uh, the genetic uh, implication has been uh, um, has been given that uh, there is a genetic predisposition and the management of PCOs has to be custom made. We have to see that uh, the lifestyle modification is very important as most of the patients come with obesity. So weight management, regular exercise and a healthy diet is the uh, is what is required for the management of PCOS. So I would like to advise all my viewers, uh, those who are suffering with PCOS should not be afraid of PCOS because what you need is a good counseling and a treatment protocol for you. Thank you so much.